But I do want to say, I do want to ask you this, because there's a good chance at some point, uh, Brian Laundrie may be watching TV in the diner that he might be in or at the gas station or wherever he might be. If you had a chance to say something to Brian Laundrie, what would you tell him? I would say, turn yourself in. Do two things, Brian. Turn yourself in, but you won't. You're a coward. Now you're facing the death penalty. Um, you, you, you brutalize this girl. You're, you're a real big guy, 90-pound woman. You brutalized her, broke everybody's heart. So either turn yourself in before the cops shoot it out and kill you when they catch you, or, and spare this family the torture or kill yourself. Do the right thing, Brian. In your whole life, you've never done anything brave. You're just a coward. So go out there in the woods somewhere, but at least so we know where your body is, so the dirty laundry mom and dad can bury you somewhere, because I know what it's like not to have a body to bury. All I got well, found, they found of Adam's of remains was his severed head. So turn yourself, I don't, I mean, Kill yourself somewhere and spare this family from a horrible trial. Ashley, you know how horrible the trials are. Parents sit in the courtroom and they show pictures of your children in the, you know, partially decomposed out in the desert. It, they're, they're torture and the families want to be there. So, Brian, the right thing for you to do is go somewhere and off yourself and save everybody a lot of trouble. And when they catch you, don't forget, buddy, you made a huge mistake. Wyoming's a death penalty state. I told your lawyer, bring him in. He won't have to face the death penalty. He can make a deal. This guy's given the parents the bad, bad advice the whole way through. Because when they catch him, he's either going to get killed by the cops when they take him because he's a coward. I say kill yourself now and save people lots of money. And they ought to take whatever assets the laundry, ha ha the laundry family has and whatever that lawyer has, because I'm going to push, he's aiding and abetting. He knows everything about this case. It's way past my lawyer private uh, client privilege. And, and take his assets and, and, and put it back into the funds to look for. The, he's not in that swamp, Ashley. Everybody in America knows that. He's not in that Very swamp. Very frustrating to see all that work and all that money. But, John, it's great the work you're doing, that you're getting all these tips, that you're getting all these viewers to check their devices and see if there's an image. And I can't tell you how much I've appreciated all you've done for this program this week. I'm going to give you a plug. Uh, John Walsh is on Wednesday nights. It's called In Pursuit on Investigation Discovery, but it also is streaming so you can catch John Walsh. Thank you, John. You don't have to thank me. You used to work for me and you were one of my best reporters. You're a really solid citizen. It's wonderful the way you're covering this and the way you're helping the victims out. Thank you. I'm glad to be on.